hello everyone this is anita in this video i am going to explain you on uh, the difference of data warehouse data mart and cube and how the cube would look like so for that i have taken a sample database uh, for the hospital management it doesn't have much data but a simple uh, star uh, schema and uh, seven to eight records only i'm having uh, in the database but the core concept is to uh, showcase how the whole app cube would look like and how can we generate ad hoc reports from the power bi so if i could uh, explain the data flow architecture so the data source may be from n number of systems whereas there should be a staging area in which it it should have all these information for a certain period of time whereas the warehouse is nothing but it is having all these information in the relational database format but only thing is it is storing the historical information so the purpose of the meta data mart is uh, to uh, to uh, segregate the data into a specific concept so the data mart or cube is nothing but the same but the data mart is the concept and the cube is the actual implementation of the data mart so we can separate uh, the data mart based on the topic or the concept for example hospital is one data mart and patient another data mart or clinical so this is just an example uh, let me explain you uh, how to uh, define a cube so the first very essential thing is we have to identify what are all the tables required and it has to be converted into specific format so if you could see i have a separate dimension for physician and nurse medication patient and the date so all these uh, foreign keys uh, primary keys are put together into the fact table with the foreign key relationship so the fact table is nothing but it is having all the numerical information and the key values so this is the simple star schema so if uh, if there are multiple tables in number of tables it may uh, either for, form a snowflake schema um, so it is depending the need and we have to define the relationship between the fact and dimension table so the reason we are doing here is it is pre aggregating the information like uh, unlike the oltp tables it is not having the transactional data but it is having the aggregated information so this is the uh, initial step for developing the cube and after uh, designing the cube uh, let me show you how the cube would look like in real time so this is the cube that i have developed so here is the data source where i am connecting to the data source uh, so it is a relational database sql relational database and then here is the data source view so i am selecting all the tables that are required and define the relationship in this and all these dimensions are created in here and whereas if you go to the cubes you will see all these dimensions like dim date uh, me medication nurse and patient details so uh, it, after uh, publishing the cube you can directly go and uh, select any of these dimensions and the factorial values and you can see the data in any format like you can select either date if i uh, go and select uh, the nurse information what you can do is just to select this employee id drag and drop so it will execute the query so this cube is actually working with the windows authentication so in order to get this cube values outside uh, we need to do uh, uh, certain arrangements in the uh, uh, in the server so uh, this is actually the on premises uh, data source currently because it works with the windows authentication so in order to take this data out i have i should have the on premises data gateway so uh, that has to be installed inside the server machine and uh, based on this gateway only it is going to connect outside this uh, machine to the cloud so after making the connection to the gateway then uh, there is a tool called power bi desktop so the power bi desktop is the development tool so if you could see i will be connected to the cube so there are so many visualizations uh, for example if i am selecting this and i am selecting name so uh, there are n number of visualizations that you can select and uh, uh, implement the chart or you, you can see the table or the matrix or the map so whatever it is you can choose and uh, uh, develop in the power bi desktop report and after development of the report the next thing is we have to publish it to the cloud so that anyone from anywhere can 
anyone from anywhere can access it uh, so uh, i am publishing this report to the cloud uh, power bi service so after publishing it so all these re- reports are already available and if i go and look for the patient information report uh, uh, you can directly see it and uh, uh, so we we have multiple filters so based on the filter condition it will differ uh, even it is completely interactive so for example i am selecting for this particular nurse and so the information will be changing as per that so even the filter if i choose for a particular uh, physician uh, then it will be showing only for uh, the particular uh, doctor so this is how uh, the power bi service report works not only this we can export this uh, into any format like powerpoint or pdf or analyze in the excel sheet and uh, this is the sample uh, pdf file it is uh, generated it has generated and its look and feel is very nice and even not only this this is the pre populated report and whereas if you want to create your custom ad hoc reports uh, you can create them using the published data set because the data set is already published so i am just choosing the data set uh, its name is hospital cube i am creating it so then after connecting to it you can see all these uh, dimension and fact tables uh, so you can select any of these columns so whatever uh, 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 whatever you want say for example i am selecting the nurse name and uh, the number of patients count and uh, and you see i am going to generate a, a column chart for this so this is how it would look like um you don't need to have much technical knowledge but some uh, understanding of these charts uh, uh, is enough to use these fields and to generate your custom ad hoc reports and not only this and after uh, uh, creating this uh, reports we can publish it and we can uh, save and share to uh, in number of people to the management or uh, or uh, to the people inside the organization we can share so this is how uh, a volap cube that is built on top of ssas that is integrated with power bi and published into power bi service uh, can be accessed from anywhere and uh, uh, for years of information we can pre aggregate and so the uh and so the data retrieval will be faster and we can slice and dice data in any format so this is the advantage of uh, volap cube uh, uh, rather than the oltp database uh, thanks for watching